Yeah, it's week one. NFL. Dude, how did we get here? Long, hard slog through through the spring and the summer. But yeah, week one, 49ers and Bears coming up on Sunday. Got a game down in Southern California Thursday night Ooh, between the Bills game. and the Rams. Yeah. That, that's huge. I'll tell you this. I don't think the 49ers offseason, to me, J.D.'s been getting a lot of run on how wild it's been. And I'm going to Ice Cube. Are we there yet? And we are. But it started with the Debo request to get traded. Remember that? And you and I did shows. The station went credit. I, I uh, make a crazy. case it even started with Jimmy saying bye, guys. But, but, that, but we bye, all guys. just knew that was a given and he was gone. Uh, guess what? But No spoiler. He's not. But, Jay, we dealt with that. And then here comes Trey Lance, and we think Jimmy's, you know, gone, and Jimmy's back. And now that story, along with, you know, what we're going to see in Chicago from the offensive line, are they going to be able to just mash and, and, and run and wheel and wear teams down? All that, to me, comes to the feet of uh, Trey Lance and how he's going to react. But yesterday I'm driving home from camping, and then we get a story from Albert Breer, now, Jay, I got to say something, mm -hmm. and I don't call anybody out, and I'm, and I'm not sure. doing that here. Do you feel like the interview he did on our show with Lowe and uh, Larry, he's kind of walking back those comments? I, I didn't think he was walking it back, and, and for those that, that hadn't heard or read Albert Breer in, in the Monday Morning Quarterback, uh, he, he wrote that Trey Lance was annoyed by the 49ers keeping annoyed. Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, he was on with, with Larry and Lowe yesterday, and, and I think it is fair to point out that, that since the column originally came out, I guess late Sunday night, early Monday morning, he did go back and take annoyed out of the column in print. But but to me, the fact that, and we'll hear a couple of the, Why the clips. Why would you do that then? If that's well, not to me, back to me, that, to yeah. me, what happened was whoever he talked to or somebody oh, with the wow. 49ers hit him up and said, WTF. Tupac. And, and he, he's holding the phone, and, there's, and they're screaming coming out the other end. Like, how, how could you write it this way? How could you say that? I said that, but it was off the record. You're framing it in a way that makes it sound a lot more scandalous or like it's a mm. big problem. You know, take that out. Now, I, I think typically a lot, of, a lot of writers, they'll write something, and then when they're talking about it, they're a little it. bit more cognizant yeah. of how it sounds as opposed to maybe how it's written. But, but for me, Goo is uh, like to me the issue isn't what whether it was annoyed or okay. not or you want to yeah. change the verbiage the the issue is clearly trey lance wasn't happy about it and uh, I'm, it, the world i come from jd i want my young quarterback to be not he's not happy i didn't like all this and i'm not saying they're not friends but don't tell me trey lance was looking at his uh first year starting for the niners knowing jimmy garoppolo wasn't going to be around uh if he wasn't told that face to face it's he saw the dog and pony show, which was a goodbye presser from Jimmy Garoppolo. So I want my young quarterback to be irritated. Like, what does, you know, him standing on the sideline, him remaining, you know, in a Niner uniform mean? And Jay, can I go back to my young dating game days? Sure, of course. When I would, we'd make it official, the young lady and I, clear your contacts, all the dudes, and she would ask me to do the same. And we would do it because I'm into you. You're into me. Nothing but yours. But this seems like if I'm Trey Lance, the Niners could be like, hey, we were going to empty the contacts and delete them, but there's just this one guy, John Dickinson's number, I just want to hang on to. So I could feel him getting pissed off. Now, this may not be the case, but they were playing all oh, their best friends and bosom buddies. I didn't like that. I don't know why I didn't like it, Jay, because I, thought, I don't think it's real. I don't think it's natural. I think Trey is going to be better off if there were no Jimmy. Now, the Niners are going to be better off because of Jimmy and if he has to get to the field for whatever reason. But don't play me like in the fans. And all these writers were, oh, they're best friends. They're going to be fine. Well, they, oh, they'll they, play the role, but Trey don't want Jimmy around. They can be best friends, and you can still not want him around. And, and that's the part for me, because, uh, of course, he would be annoyed by the 49ers after all offseason, playing it out like he wasn't going to okay. be around, and suddenly he is. Because, let's just be honest about it. 
Yes, Trey man. Lance had there's a there's a, a comfort that comes with not only the 49ers handing you the keys to the gotcha. to the car to gotcha. the franchise, right. but there's a comfort from not having to look over your shoulder right. at a guy who's been to a Super Bowl and been to an NFC Championship game in the a couple of them in the last three years here. So it's one thing to be confident and it's your show. But then to get the script completely flipped at the last minute, right before the season's going to start, oh, by the way, he's still going to be around. Yeah, the onus is how does he handle it, but the fact that he's annoyed by it, I'm kind of with you in the sense that that's that's a no-brainer. Now, if I'm in his corner and I hear everything you're saying, Jay, if he is annoyed, I would would advise him you got to keep that under wraps. And maybe he's done that, and we don't know what's what with this story. But I was listening to Damon and Rattle last week, and I heard Damon say these words, and I agree wholeheartedly. If this, if the um, reflection of Jimmy Garoppolo bothers you, and you can't go out and be the best you can be, then you're not the guy. Yeah, but you're 21, and like, 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 and I'll give you the difference between twi- being, let's say, give it to early me. 20s and like late 30s or 40. For me, and I want to yeah. hear what you and we'll, we'll throw oh, it out there. Lord. But at early twenties to me, it's you're feeling pretty good about yourself, and all of a sudden that's a gut punch. Like, what? They don't think I'm very like. They don't think I'm I'm good. Like, they don't think I'm good enough. Like, they handed it to me. They've seen me work, and they don't think I'm good enough. And that's hard to take. Does that affect my confidence? You know what? At twenty one, it might affect my confidence. Twenty two years old, that might affect my confidence. Now you get into the late thirties, or you get to be forty and beyond. And you look at it as maybe the same way and that, well, they don't think I'm as good, but you also have a little bit more of a, well, you know what? Bleep them. Yeah. I'm, I'm, right. I'm going to go, I'm going to go get after it. and I'm going to handle it anyway, because, because you're just more sure of yourself. You know that it isn't really that big of a deal. To me, it hits different when you're young, which, which makes it all the more difficult to handle. Yeah. And at the end of the day, nobody will ever know what is going on and what message or messages are trying to be sent. So my question to you and the listeners, Jay, there's all kind of different forms of love. There's tough love. And if the Niners, if it's true, they've seen something that might concern them about Trey Lance. Maybe they said just by bringing Jimmy back, we don't give a damn about you want nine lives. Guess what, kids? You got seven or eight. So we, you need to go out there and worry about what you're going to do and be the best starting quarterback for the Niners and not who's behind you. To me, that's a form of tough love, and I'm wondering if that formed because he may not be where they thought he was you know, in practice or even in the games. Now, that could be a super reach, but to tell me these two dudes are best buddies, I just can't stand that, and I want Trey Lance or any quarterback in Trey's position that has been given the reins to be pissed off that the dude that has been the guy is still here.